There are a lot of AI tools in the world. Actually, there are more than 43,000 listed AI tools and there's an AI for that alone. But even if we'd love to, there's absolutely no way we can actually use 43,000 tools. That is why in order for you to be more productive in 2026, I made you a list of seven AI tools and you definitely want to include them in your day-to-day -day life. They are pretty much guaranteed to save you a lot of time and also provide a lot of value. Put your seatbelt on and let's get started. First AI tool on our list is called Gamma. It's a tool for making presentations and documents without designing them manually. So instead of just starting with a blank page, you can give it a prompt, a few bullet points, a rough outline, or even a single instruction. Gamma will turn that into a structured, readable document. And it's as simple as clicking on this blue button, click on generate, tell it what you want to generate. You can pick between presentation, web page, document, and social. Give it a simple natural language prompt, such as make me a presentation about the Milky Way galaxy. Select the number of cards, let's say 20, format, card size, language, click generate outline. You're going to get an outline of a presentation. Select the amount of text per card, the style, what kind of images do you want it to use, the model to generate those images. Click generate. Look at the presentation being created right as we speak. And after around 45 seconds, our presentation is done. And with the help of the new image generation models that are out there on the market, we're going to get stunning visuals. And it also makes a lot of sense. All of the information is accurate. It's very interesting to use. And you're almost guaranteed to impress your colleagues, professors, or seminar attendees. If you want anything edited from this presentation, all you have to do is click on the thing you want changed and speak with the AI in natural language. Change the image. Next tool on this list is called Whisper Flow. This one is a voice to text tool that lets you talk instead of type. A very nice advantage, you can do that across your computer. Meaning that once you're in, you can speak naturally and your words will appear wherever your cursor is. It doesn't matter what it is, emails, documents, notes, messages, whisper can be integrated in anything. Now, there are hundreds of tools out there that are doing the exact same thing. So why should you pick this one? The key difference between this and other tools is accuracy and flow. You don't have to speak slowly. You don't have to say punctuation out loud and you don't have to to correct every single sentence. It feels much more closer to typing with your voice than dictating. It is so good and I use Whisperflow anytime I feel like typing would slow me down. For example, if I have to write a long email, if I need to dump a lot of thoughts on a document, if I need to reply to any kind of messages quickly while I'm doing something else, or just write down some ideas. Let me show you how it works. So with Whisper, you're always going to see this thing on your screen. Once you hover over it with your mouse, it gets bigger, you can click it and it will start recording. But it only works if you have selected a text field. For example, in this case, let's just scroll down, click reply. You can set up a shortcut button. In my case, it's FN and just start speaking like you would normally speak with someone. Hey, I just saw your email and I'm just responding to it. I just try to speak as naturally as I can. You don't have to overthink anything. You, you don't need to think about punctuation and stuff. And in this case, for example, Whisper knows that this is an email field and it will format the text according to what it is. Speed is another thing thing I wanted to talk to you about because after my finger was off the FN key, it took less than one second to write everything down. It still baffles me to see how accurate it is, but you can even use whisper by whispering. Hey, this is an email response that I'm writing and I'm just want to, you know, I just want to test whispers capability to hear my whispers. And there you go. One second later, here's the text. It's much, much better than any other tool out there. And I can almost guarantee you that if you start integrating it in your day to day life, you're going to absolutely love it. And they also have this inside of their tool, which is pretty cool because you can actually make flow sound just like yourself. You can personalize the entire experience. For tool number three, we have Fireflies. This is an AI meeting assistant that records, transcribes and summarizes conversations automatically. All you have to do is join a meeting. And when the meeting ends, after you wait around Around five minutes, you will get a full transcript and a summary. It's a very, very useful tool because if you don't have an assistant with you, you're going to write down every single information that occurs in that meeting. Sometimes you need to actually focus on the meeting and decide things on a meeting without having to write down all of those details. This is what Fireflies is doing for you. And what makes it very useful is not just the transcript, but the way the information is organized because Fireflies will pull out all of the key points, all of the action 
items, decisions that you made on the call, and also important questions. The main purpose is so you don't have to rewatch the meeting again or take notes while listening. I mainly use Fireflies for work meetings, any call in which decisions are made, also interviews, and any other conversation that I might need to reference to later. For me, it's especially helpful when you're in back-to-back -back meetings and you cannot just stop to write things down because the meeting is going on. Maybe we're having a fast pace, maybe we're talking about numbers, and I just don't have the mental capacity to write down every single detail and also focus on the meeting. And the reason why Fireflies made this list is very simple. It heavily uses AI and it gives you a record of every conversation that you have without any kind of extra effort. You also have the capability to search past meetings. You can copy all of the summaries that you have into documents. You can share the notes with people that were not there. So basically, if you spend a lot of times in meetings or calls, this one is one of the tools that basically pays for itself just in time. Tool number four on our list is Nano Banana. That's a name that almost everybody knows by now. But going in 2026, this tool is going to be crazy helpful. It's basically a tool for creating short form visuals and all kinds of assets very quickly without you having to do any kind of manual work. All you have to do is give it a prompt or maybe a rough idea and it will generate clean, usable visuals that are ready to drop in the content. I use a lot of Nano Banana when I need something visual fast and at the same time, I don't want to open a heavy design tool. For example, let's take this picture of me and give it a prompt. Generate a thumbnail for YouTube with me trying to survive in the jungle. And there you go, less than 10 seconds later, we got this. You can also create simple graphics for social posts. Let's say we wanna sell this product, generate a simple graphic with this product for a social media post. And this is what you'll get. With Nano Banana, you don't need any kind of design skills, you don't need templates, or even time to tweak things endlessly. You can use natural language if you want any kind of changes. Let's say you don't like this part right here from this thumbnail. All you have to do, give it a simple prompt and write something like this. And there you go, even tweaking is easy. You get something usable almost immediately. Now, the reason why Nano Banana made this list is because it handles small but frequent tasks. So if you create content regularly or if you work with any field that requires any kind of design, Nano Banana can fit naturally into your workflow. Tool number five on our list is Claude Code. Claude Code is basically a coding assistant that helps you write, understand, and also modify code. All of that through natural language. This right here is a lifesaver. So if you already have your code, instead of googling errors or stitching together snippets all you have to do is describe what you want to build or maybe change and Claude works directly with the code what Claude does really well is context you can just copy and paste an entire project into Claude ask questions about how it works and then ask for changes without even starting over I'm usually using Claude for creating small apps that I use internally for example let's ask it to create a fitness app that can track my calories I need the app to have a calorie counter and a way for me to input whatever I'm eating and the ability to tell me by the end of the day how many calories have I eaten. Claude will do all of the work for you, it will do all of the debugging if it needs to, and it will deliver a fully functional project. It's especially useful if you're not a full-time developer, but you still need to build or customize something. The reason Claude Code made this list is very simple. It lowers the barrier to working with code. People like me used to be so scared about coding. You don't need to know everything up front, you have natural language, and you can iterate any Anything by asking questions and making changes step by step. So if you're building anything technical, even occasionally, this can become a very practical tool, not just a novelty. Tool number six on our list is called Higgs Field, and it's basically an all-in-one image generation, video generation, and a thousand other things. This is my go-to place whenever I need anything that has to do with design. Just to name you a few, you can create images, create videos, edit images, edit videos, upscale anything, lip sync, and lots of other tools. What I like like about it is that you can literally do anything. You have this photo of a dragon. Let's paint something here in the background. Just say, put castle there. Generate. There you go. There's your castle. You can also do any kind of edits to already existing images. For example, make me smile more in this picture. And there you go. I'm smiling. Make me very angry. And now I'm very angry. And as you can see right here, everything stays exactly the same in the picture besides the thing that you want changed. You can create things completely from scratch, such as generate a picture with a robot on a beach. You can select the number 
number of items that will be on your batch. For example, this one will have four. And there you go, the robot on the beach. Let's say you like this one in particular. So you can click on recreate and it will start creating more pictures that look like it. You can select the model from this drop down, which goes on forever. They have all of the available models out there. You can do the same for video. You can select the model from here, start frame, end frame, quality ratio, and you can generate when you're ready. This right here is my go-to place. Whenever I want to create or edit any kind of design assets such as images or videos. And final tool on our list is Suno V5. Suno V5 is a music generation tool that creates full songs from simple text prompts. All you have to do is describe the style, describe the mood or structure, and it will generate music with vocals, instrument, and everything. What makes Suno really useful is completeness. It's not just background noise or short audio loops. It actually produces finished tracks. This is one example of a song that we made with Suno in one of the past videos. We just gave it this prompt and 40 seconds later we had this song. It's pretty cool and with Suno you don't need any kind of instruments, recording gear or even production experience. You can explore ideas immediately and all you have to do is just write a simple prompt, make me a song about our website, there's an A for that. Make sure to include things such as we have more than 43,000 listed tools and the fact that our newsletter is the number one AI newsletter in the world with more than 2.3 million readers. Click create and this is the song. Got a question spinning in your mind. Answers out there, it's not hard to find. Forty three thousand ways to play. Oh, yeah, it's true for every dream. There's a tool for you. Sign up, go away, get the world at your door. No more. So if you're a creator or your work involves anything that has something to do with audio or video, this lets you experiment much faster. I've tested thousands of AI tools. These right here are the seven tools that you want to go into 2026 with. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment below telling me which one of these tools were you most impressed by and why. Don't forget to check out There's an Air for that. And while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter. Thank you for watching. Have an amazing day. Until next time.